up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! <laughs> Let me get some light shed on this. Is there enough light there? I've got... You guys know that I bought this Vera, Vera tool checker kit. And uh, that instantly sent me off after getting that to go on to getting some other things. Now, I had to try a Comform bigger grip. I believe that's what they call it. This is a fine tooth ultra compact Vera ratcheting screwdriver. Um, yeah, the craft form compact craft craft form compact. I don't know how to say that in German, but it's craft form compact craft form compact. Uh, this is a made in the Czech, Czech Republic, which I'm going to tell you this much, guys. I know for a fact that Czech Republic stuff is really well made because I am a firearms enthusiast and CZ Customs makes some good stuff. Got me a Vera Rebel sticker. Henry, what you doing, little fella? Uh, got the old mud out here running around today with me in the shop. But let's open this bad boy up. We got a couple things I'm going to show you. A couple things I'm going to talk about. And, uh, you know, just... Just throw your peepers on this. This is a 051490 825-1RA. I'm not sure what the part numbers are. I don't know Vera stuff that well. Uh, just know that it's good quality. On, honestly, anything that comes out of the Czech Republic is pretty much stellar. The machining, the mach if you know about the Czech Republic like I do with machining, those guys are machinists. I mean, they just take pride in their work. So um, the, I will say that the fine tooth on this ratchet and screwdriver... Uh, absolutely, it's it's great. Give you a little AMSR, ASMR. You hear that? And yeah, that's right. We got a hidden compartment. Uh, this does have the Robertson bit in it, and a couple flat tips, two Robertsons, two Phillips, two flat tips. Pretty much standard with about most of your screwdrivers. Uh, I just wanted to try it out. I will tell you this much. Some of you guys are going to probably lose your mind right now, but I am not a fan of this grip. Um, I do see where the ergonomics of it is not bad. Uh, me personally using this every day, I don't know. I just, I've tried using it a couple times. Not super impressive. My finger always lands up here on this ball. Um, I understand the ergonomics of it. This makes perfect sense the way they have these made. And I know a lot of people love them. I'm not knocking it, okay? This is personal preference and tools, guys. Um, I believe the overall quality of it with the metal knob selectors, which I'm a big stickler of these because I've seen the plastic ones crack a lot of times from dropping them. Um, I've seen snap-on ones break like that. Um, and I've seen other cheaper ones break like that. In fact, I've had a gear wrench one I had for a long time broke like that. The shank on this is not removable. Um, at least I can't get it to. The magnet on this bad boy, however, pretty awesome. Uh, once again, that just goes to the absolute astounding quality that uh, the checks build, or that the checks have. Right, this is what I got right here. Pretty good. It'll pick up a screw. That's, that's all that matters. Um, I don't know what I got a wrench right here. Let's get a wrench right here. Not bad. Uh, it holds the bit in very well. That's really what matters. It's 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 in there tight. Uh, I, I definitely like that screwdriver for that function. The main function of my video for today, though, isn't just this screwdriver. The main function of my video is, is that I have a super awesome screwdriver set that came in. And these things are absolutely the bee's knees and very hard to get. <laughs> Not going to lie to you. And shout out to Doc at Last Best Tool. He's the one that turned me on to these. I was actually going, I was actually waiting on a set of Snap-on and I canceled my order because I saw these. And you know what, guys? I will tell you this much right now. Honestly, I believe that the checks are Vera. I should say, I'm just going to say Vera. I'm not going to say a, a, a nation of people, but Vera Tools. I literally believe they are building some of the best bits out there. Don't take my word for it. Go check out Project Farms channel. He just did a deal on them not too long ago, and that's what really got me turned on to it. I had always had a suspicion that Vitas were pretty much the strongest bits out there. 
I've seen other people do videos on them and whatnot. Uh, I watched the German Tool review, which he hasn't done videos in a long time, but I watched him do videos on them. And it just kind of, you can just kind of tell from the metal that they're using. I don't know what it is, but it's like literally adamant, adamantium. Uh, it's wool, the same stuff they use for Wolverine. I'm, I'm sure of it. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, so why the diamond bits? These things are fantastic. Now, they do take some use to get used to them. Uh, here's the, this is a BC30 Diamond Bit 1, the 30TG. Um, this set is expensive. They are about $2 a bit, which, I don't know, it's, it's expensive to some, some it's not. I don't know, whatever. That's neither here nor there to me. I'm not here about price. If you're here but worrying about price, then you're probably on the wrong channel because I'm not about the price usually. I try to get good deals because I buy a lot of tools, but at the end of the day, if I want something, I'm going to get it. The price is not something that my channel is really focused on. You know, I spend a lot of money on tools because it's CP the Tool Addict, not CP, oh, I think I'm going to buy tools. With a name like CP the Tool Addict, I have to live up to it. And honestly, it's no problem to me, you know. And the thing is, it's my money. I spend it how I want to, you know. If you want to come make my money for me and, and take care of me, then, you know, let's talk. <laughs> you know, I'll start doing that. Anyways. Nonetheless, I just want to show you how good these bits are. I've got a block of wood here. Um, and when you put these things in, this is a T20, these diamond bits, they bite in so well that you literally, let me actually, let me just go ahead and get them in the Vera screwdriver because that's we're going to only do them justice. <clears throat> they get in, they bite in so well that they literally hold on to the fastener very well. Um, I am just... Super impressed with them when you turn them in. They do take a little bit of getting used to uh, because they stick in so well. Um, you kind of got to learn how to get out of them, I guess. Uh, they have a little bit of a... Let me see if I can get this. Yeah. So you see, they hang on to the bit. They hang on to the bit, the screw very well. And you got to kind of shake it off. So let me get this back out of here. I got too deep, big a screw here. So... You know, in essence, why, why did I get these? Well, that's exactly why, because I want something that will hold on to a bit when I'm using it. Like I'm putting in a Torx in a small spot or whatnot. This, I can stick a bit on it and hold on to it. The hold function of these, I believe is what they call it. It's a hold function, um, plus the strength of them. Um, and they've got like a diamond tip coating on it. I don't know if you can see, kind of get in there and kind of look at them. We got a diamond tip coating on them. They're super hard. Just really, really, really strong bits. Uh, seen them on several channels that I looked at. Uh, I'm sure the hardness on them is absolutely amazing. But uh, these are definitely... If you want a set of bits that are going to be strong, um, the biggest thing... These go up to T40. Wish they went up a little bit bigger. Yeah, T40 and the Torx. That's another main reason I got them for the Torx. You have doubles in here. T20s, I have three T20s, you got three T25s, one T30, not sure why that is, two T15s, two ten, T10s, Number th you have your JIS bits, you have your Phillips bits, and then you have your, your 08, your 1, and your 1-2 uh, flats, and uh, you can honestly see here in the, in the flats where they even, they make them pretty strong because they let the slot get down a little bit more recess, so, um, and of course they have their patented or not their patented. This is their, uh, oh man, rap, rapid, rapider technology, they call this, for their bits. I'm, you know, guys, I'm not the German tool uh, guru, believe it or not. Uh, Mr. Subaru knows quite a bit more than I do and a lot of other people do, but um, when it comes down to it, I know quality when I see it. Uh, doing this for 20 years, I've literally learned what not to do and what to do, and uh, I have been eyeballing Vera bits for a long time because it's just the thing about it is, is American quality is suffering and uh, German tools are German and Japanese are getting ahead up on us and these bits are these bits are one of those bits that I would I will save for instances where I need them even though they're expensive uh, comes in this nice case too I like that uh, just keeping everything compact but with all the Vera tools that I have just these Vera tools i have now i really like the setup that i got compared i should have showed you compared to these bits the differences too because these are their normal standard bits they also have another bit that they have 
and you see the differences in these versus your diamond coated Let's see with this one t30 let's pull out the t30 just look at the differences in these bits you can see that, that these things kind of flare out a little bit at the end too for a little bit of it they, they have a special hold function bit but these hold well too uh to be honest with you three different types of bits for vera, vera. but uh you know i just looked them up and uh you know saw it. i got a deal on these that's why i jumped on buying them and it took a little bit to get them over here too because i think i paid right at two dollars a bit but these things i think go up to about a hundred dollars for a set of these so i will put a link in the description for everything as always appreciate you guys watching remember to like comment share subscribe ring that bell remember keep your hands dirty and your money clean thanks for watching